now on America East on campus. The final weeks of the regular season are here in basketball. We'll look at two teams on a mission. In women's basketball, Boston University came up short in last year's title game on their home floor. This year, they're determined not to let that happen again. You think about it, but honestly, it doesn't matter anymore. What matters is now. Stony Brook was minutes and inches away from its first America East men's championship. What drives this veteran team this year? Our weight coach had the ticket from the Boston game on the bottom of our weight cards every day. So he just said, you know, that's something we thought about every day coming in. So we never forget about that. She's breaking school records and league records, running and jumping. BU's Allison Barwise sets the bar high. I try and think about technical things, but I don't think I actually end up doing it. It's, you more just kind of black out and trust what you've been doing in practice all week. And one of Hartford's top players is one of the league's top students. Ruth Ann Duwadi has a goal of using her education to help others a world away. There's no greater feeling than making somebody else smile and making their day and making their life easier. It's all right now on America East on campus. From the Track and Tennis Center at Boston University, we welcome you to the latest edition of America East on campus. Hi everybody, I'm your host Eric Freed. Great to have you with us here at BU as we get ready to tell you the stories of the student athletes of the America East Conference. And here at Boston University, it's the annual BU Invitational. Everyone gearing up for the annual America East Men's and Women's Track and Field Championship coming up next weekend here at Boston University. Albany's men and women defending their titles. In fact, They've won the America East Championship the last two years. For the men, they've won it six consecutive years. Of course, there'll be plenty of individual championships on the line here at Boston University, and the Terriers' Allison Barwise will be defending two titles. I don't like thinking about it. When you're standing there with the bar in front of you and uh, having all this time, it starts to get in your head. So I like to go as soon as I can, like see the bar, see what I have to do, and do it. Maybe it's because Allison Barwise doesn't have the time to wait around. She's a standout in the high jump, the long jump, and the pentathlon indoors, and is a multiple record holder and champion in America East. I really like um, doing a lot of events because it takes the focus off of the one. So if one doesn't go well, you have another one to get back in there. My favorites are probably long jump, high jump, and hurdles, but I love them all. I love the combination of them, that's why I compete in the multis. I compete in the heptathlon outdoor, so that's seven events, and um, it's high jump, long jump, uh, 100 hurdles, 200, 800, shot put, and javelin. So I kind of do a little bit of everything. She jumped right to elite status in America East as a freshman, winning the pentathlon and earning the most points of any athlete in the meet. As a sophomore, she advanced to the NCAAs in the high jump. I usually come in pretty high like that because I don't like to see the bar keep raising up and up and up. I just like to, like where I know I can jump, I'm gonna jump there. In the multis, there's a lot of times where I will be jumping by myself, so I need to really motivate myself. But um, I love competition. I love like being able to have someone else because it gives you something else to focus on whether it, besides just like, oh my gosh, I need to jump this. Being focused is a challenge for every athlete. Being focused and calm is Allison's challenge. I've had a lot of like really high anxiety meets where it's like your head can get in the way of you being able to perform your best. So what I try and do is like get my head completely out of it and let my body do the work. I try to keep it really low because my natural state is pretty high anxiety. So I need to like get that down as much as I can. I usually try and not think about it at all and like not be focused on the event, just sit there, relax, uh, think about other things, just stay calm uh, so that my anxiety level doesn't get up and then when the bar gets to where I need to be then I'm ready. I try and think about technical things but I don't think I actually end up doing it. It's, you more just kind of black out and trust what you've been doing in practice all week. She continues to break her own records. Her goal in the high jump is to clear six feet. 5'11 is her best. She once had doubts, but not anymore. I definitely had some doubts coming in about where I would fit in on the team and what, um, if I could contribute. I'm so grateful for what I've been able to do and uh, I'm blessed for my talents and I like, really appreciate it. It's really cool to be associated with a group of athletes that are so good. 
Coming up, they're one of the teams to beat in America East men's basketball, a position that Stony Brook's been in in the last couple of years. Now, is it their time to win a title? This is our last go around for the guys I came in with, so there's definitely an extra kick, I guess, that we gotta, we gotta do it this year. America East is on the rise. We're on the move. We have so many strengths in this conference, from the students who are making a difference in their communities, to our alumni who are changing the world. Ultimately, we're about preparing young people for the rest of their lives. I'm very proud to say in America East, we do a great job. Every day, we're helping to create leaders. We've accomplished so much, but we're just getting started.